by the V's and Taylor Ward on right wing leaving it there for Nick Jones with a shot from the right circle. V's, here's Sodergren left circle. His shot stopped on a block there by Miller. And there, go back up to the top of the point there for Miller. Right wing side, Crookshank shoots, stopped by Farkas, rebound. Also denied there by Sheen. Back door there for Johnson, the defenseman who pinched in. Couldn't corral it, rebound, they score back in front. As the backdoor play didn't quite work for Johnson the first time. Time of the goal is 10-17. The V's scoring and opening the scoring. They're back and again. Jones left wing side. Oh, what a play. Jones right wing for Clack on the left. And it's finished off by Kenny Johnson. Now it's back to Mendel right wing. Here's the V's control. Leahy backdoor there. Back in front. They score. They're on right wing. Now right circle. His shot stopped by Farkas. Who will send that back below the goal line here for Clack. Coming away with that is Jones. Tried to come back out in front. Farkas finds the loose puck and hangs on. Right circle. Slot in the left side there for Wilton. His shot high and over goal. Interrupted there by Johnson and Tyconic ahead on the left wing, but he bobbled that breakout attempt. Here come the Warriors back in again on left wing. It's Foreman left. Circle scores! <laughs> You know, Trey, right as I saw Foreman on that side, I know what a wicked wrist shot he has. And he was looking to pass. I'm, in my own brain, I'm going, please, buddy, take that shot. And boy, did he ever whistle that in. Wing Scott Allen. His breakout pass knocked down by the V's, but into the left wing corner. Campesi chases it, centered it in front of an off of Robson. One by West Kelowna, thrown toward the goal, and Foreman tried to tuck it in. Pox loose on the blocker side. Gunville will find that now. Look out at 2-on-1 for the V, shorthanded back the other way. Jones on right wing, he's got Clack with him. Jones right, circle scores. Epps on side, in on the right wing. He's got a man back door, great save, Robson. Dead tired trying to get this puck out. Finds Camps, he's stripped nicely there by Epps. Sends it down low, Sider gets scores! <laughs> Turned it over. Here's Sodergren down low for Campes. He centered in front for Epps. Stopped by Robson. Rebound comes out right wing side. Jennings shoots through traffic. That was blocked. Sodergren scores! Thanks, Wayne. Uh, before we do the Frisbee toss, guys, as you all know, tonight is our breast research night, cancer research night. Uh, Bylands Nurseries were awesome, has stepped up and sponsored these awesome jerseys. And also our good buddy Peter Seamers from CIBC is challenging anybody if they can match his $100 donation that's all going right to breast cancer research. So let's give Peter a big round of applause. He really stepped up. So tonight's pot is a staggering $550. You're taking on the guys from Ultimate Hockey. If Ultimate Hockey sinks it, they're going to put half of that money back into the next pot. So for the rest of the season, pretty much, this pot's always going to be huge. Oh, they're getting good, Randy. So close, buddy. Break your mama's back. Free could be a two on one. wall right side in the slot. Foreman. Oh, great save. Rebound denied as well by Gun. The side is reverse pass was knocked away there by Nash. Put to the line for Mendel. His shot through traffic. They score. Tipped in by Ben Brar. They get into the slot for a shot. And the V's turn it up, take it away. And could be a two on one. Amante right wing as Crookshank to the goalie scores. Expecting Campesi to skate on the net, but he will himself and go for a lap back behind the goal. Harrison tried to center it there. Up below the goal line, centered in front. Had a man go into the goal there, and Russell works back to the midpoint. Now coffee drive off the leg in the slot. Harrison shot. That was blocked before he could get the goal. Harrison's got it again. Midpoint throws it on. That was blocked by the V's again. Chatting with Warrior head coach Ryland Furster after a tough 6-3 to three loss to the Penticton V's tonight here at Royal LePage Place on Breast Cancer Awareness Night. And Ryland, uh, I thought for the most part, you know, your team... You know, up until really the third period of the early parts when the V's took those two early goals, I thought you really held tight against this team. Uh, got down three to nothing early, but I thought great resilience to battle your way back into this hockey game and make it a four-three game to start the third uh, before the V's got those two goals. Uh, I know it's early, you know, fresh off the game, but what are your quick takes on uh, tonight's hockey game and your effort from your group? Well, I thought the effort was good. I, I, I certainly can't fault our guys on our effort. We got down three nothing, and you can easily fold the tent or you know um, start doing things the wrong way so to speak and I thought we stuck with it and um, you know the first three goals I you know were 
uh, were breakdowns and mistakes, and you know, credit them. You know, they're a skilled team. They, uh, you know, they made plays on all on, on all three. But again, I thought we stuck with some things and um, stayed right into the game, obviously. And you know, it's typical. Um, you know, you have that ch you know glorious chance, so to speak, at the start of the third. You miss, they come down and score. Now it's a two-goal game again. It makes it a little difficult. Yeah, I wanted to talk about that. Obviously, uh, you know, that line, Quinn Foreman looked dangerous tonight. I thought the line of Braden Epp, Connor Soder, and Matt Campessi also had some really great chances for your group. But as you talk about that save that Robson made at the beginning of the third off of Foreman, that could have been a tie hockey game, as you mentioned. That could have really changed the momentum instead of East come back and get a goal. But, you know, you got to be happy with your group's effort. Again, we mentioned it, you know, battling back from that. But... Must have been a little bit of a tough play to watch with Foreman getting denied there, and then Gunville also following up, also got denied with that chance. Yeah, difficult again. You know, I, I think I answered the question again. It's um, you know, you go down, you have a chance at, at uh, one end, and quite often, how many times you see that in hockey, Trevor, they go down and they score one the other way, and you know that's just hockey. That's you know, it's uh, unfortunate. Yeah, you score there, tied up, and uh, you know it's a whole new game but again you know the kid down there made a good save a real good save for him I thought and um, well, they come down to score. Penalties I thought were a little bit uh, few and far between in this hockey game up until late in the game uh, you only what the Warriors only go 0 for 1 on the power play tonight I thought there could have been more chances that way your penalty kill though 5 for 5 and I know that the first V's goal I think was scored like right after a power play was ended but got to be happy with the way the, the penalty kill held a pretty highly offensive team off the scoreboard. They've had their tr struggles in the power play, but I thought your PK stood tall as well, especially late in the game as well. Yeah, well, late in the game, it certainly gets tested, and when someone puts their number one unit out there, um, you know, late in the game, you have to question that too. I mean, um, you know, it's the same uh, the same coach last year, I think, who who mentioned, you know, if you're going to take stupid penalties at the end of the game, you are going to put your number one unit out well. I mean, um, if you look at those penalties at the end of the game, well, one's a hook, you know, one's a, you know, a mistake, high stick, and you're going to have your number one power play unit on it at the end of the game. So, yeah, give our kids kids credit. Maybe there's, uh, you know, the hockey gods there. That's, you know, I, I, I don't understand that at all. And, again, the same guy, you know, contradicts himself now from last year. So, oh, well. Appreciate your time. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah, thanks. My pleasure.